Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be trying to upgrade this $25 computer to the absolute max that I can get it. Now, but yes, this is how I build computers. So yeah, let's do it. So this is the thing I will be upgrading. This right here is the Acer Aspire 605, TC605, right? This is what it looks like. And it's a pretty decent computer. The only real problems with it is first of all came with a single stick of 8 gigs DDR3 RAM. I don't think I will be upgrading this thing in terms of like the CPU or anything like that. This has an i5-4440 in it. What I will do is swap out the case. This is a... I don't like this case actually at all. Just a generic case. It's got an Intel Pentium sticker on the front. So over here, I got my screwdriver, and let's uh, let's go. I don't know if this will work. I did no research, so we'll just find out. The first thing I'm gonna really have to do, though, is you see those? There's little standoffs in the case there. Since this board is like I think a mini ATX like size, it's a very small board. There's a little thing here, which for some reason, when I put a bigger graphics card in there, it sort of it sort of gets in the way. So I'm gonna try get the power supply out first. SSD. I installed this like 30 minutes ago into this computer. Now I'm already taking it out. And holy sh! That's a giant. F <laughs> okay. Well, that's really something. Now this power supply, it's decent. It's 400 watts. It's also got a six pin. Let's install the power supply. <laughs> Let's take out this. Uh, Let's see here. This is a GT1030. Take the board out. Oh my god, look at that RAM stick. It's blue. <laughs> Alright, there's the motherboard. I didn't fully check this box of magic stuff here. No, no extra freaking headers. So that's gonna suck. I don't want this board to break in half when I'm trying to plug in the 24 pin. Oh, freaking dead. But it's all in Chinese. Oh, yes, I think that's what it is. Oh no. Oh, there's extra standoffs in here. Yeah. Uh. Alright, now let's put the standoffs in. So there are extra standoffs in this bag here. Put one in, and then I can see another one. Let's now put in the motherboard. Forgetting something. And this IO shield technically does fit, but there's a lot of ports missing. Get in there. Okay, there we go. IO shield is in. Let's now put in the muffa. That is not going to work. I'm trying to be careful so I can cut my hand again because I cut my hand a few days ago. So I guess we're going with no IO shield. Now the motherboard's in. Let's plug everything in. Now the only thing I really need to get right is the power switch and maybe even the reset LEDs and all that stuff so you can see. Power switch is 6 and 8, so it's these two. Power LEDs are 2 and 4. Reset switch is 5 and 7. And then hard drive LED is 1 and 3. Obviously, now I'm gonna install the GPU, so we're not going with the 1030 anymore. Since this power supply only has one single 6-pin connector, and the only GPU that I have that has one 6-pin connector is this one. So this is a GTX 950, and you can see it has a 6-pin, so we're gonna put it in. This case is very, very terrible. But now let's plug the 6-pin into the GPU. God, my eyes are burning. Okay, here we go. There we go. This is what it looks like from the side. I know it looks pretty bad because I couldn't get the IO shield out of the other case. So I'm just, yeah, this is open like this. We'll find out if it works. Ah, in it under. All right, now it's under. Boom, now it's in there. Some good old soda. All right, let's turn it on. Oh wow, it just works. I couldn't even hear the thing turn on. Okay, working just fine so far. Now we got a GTX 950. Yay! But now it's in this case. Imagine if I put a 3070 in here. No one would suspect a thing. So yeah, that's really something in it. Okay, so you might be wondering why the heck is there a weird camera in the middle of the camera? Well, well this one's gonna be recording the audio, and this camera's gonna be my face cam. And I've actually since put some extra RAM in the computer as well. This now has 12 gigabytes of RAM. So, yeah, let's go ahead and um, play some games, shall we? Let's go ahead and go ahead. I don't know if I've updated Fortnite. Ah, uh, it's gonna be another 30 gig update, isn't it?
<gasps> 43 gigabytes? Hey, I'm just trying to please the stupid algorithm gods here. Huh? All right, let's start playing some game. You're standing next to this dead tree. Oh, oh shut up. Now we're getting 90 something frames. Oh my god, come on. I just, uh, at this point, I just want to get back up there. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, no. Oh my, we're getting around 90, almost 100 frames. Duh. Holy crap, dude. No. <gasps> yes. Oh. <sighs> yes. Yes. Let's do this. Holy crap. Even Markiplier, who is the calmest person ever, literally raged like crazy at this game. He lost all his progress. Yes, that scream is actually my freaking alarm sound effect. That resembles how I feel every time I wake up. Whoa! Oh! Whoa. Okay, yes, I made it here. Let's go, please. Oh my god. <gasps> no! <gasps> okay. Alright, well, you know what? That's it. That's it. That's... <laughs> no, stop. Oh, holy crap. Oh, shut up. Okay, next game is gonna be Counter-Strike 2. Now, I've actually never played Update Required. Look how many games need updates already. All right, let's try playing Valorant versus showing- Oh my god, another update. This is why game testing sucks. They update every two seconds. Why the hell is it only in 20 FPS? What the f- I'm literally playing on high. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It crashed. Alright, so I've overclocked the GPU a teeny teeny tiny bit, and I also set it to the competitive settings. Now it's 160 something frames per second. Alright, this is a normal game, I guess. It's going 100 FPS. It's very stuttery. Oh, I uh, Where the hell did that even come from? I actually have a- Get over here, get your- <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Get you, yeah. Oh, what? Oh. All of my CPU is being taken up, so it's practically a CPU bottleneck. Whoa, reload. Re Where the f*** is that? What the f***? Can you f*** off? <gasps> no way. Oh. Yeah, you piece of Yeah. You, dude. That's the best play I've probably ever gotten in this entire game ever. Oh. Oh. oh wow, everyone's after me now. Reload, 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 reload. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Alright, there we go. Victory. That tastes like gravy. Like turkey gravy or something like that. It actually. I will be upgrading this in the future. I will probably be changing out the power supply and putting a better graphics card in there. I may or may not consider putting the best CPU that this computer supports, which is the i7-4790K. I might try. Depends how this video does. If it does well, then I might. But we'll find out. So, yeah.